Hi everyone. Today is 15th of November 2018. In this session, we will learn how to use CLI array along with STD array, standard template library array. Or we will be using C++ CLI along with classic C++ language. In real production level software development, we probably have to use heterogeneous languages or frameworks, such as by using C++ CLI, we can use .NET framework, we can also use C Sharp, and also Visual Basic, and by using classic C++, we can use Windows API, also we can use MFC class library. By combining these two heterogeneous set of frameworks, we can create very big useful applications. For example, this is a software that I developed by myself. When I developed this software, I used both classic C++ language with MFC and also I used C++ CLI with .NET framework. In modern software development, we probably have to use lots of different languages or frameworks in a single software development. Please note that I'm using Visual Studio 2017. From File, New, Project, I create CLI console application. We can create C++ CLI array like this, ARRAY. I will create integer, this is rank 1. But since this is default, we will change it like this, then we have to handle like this. Then to initialize it, gc new, a ll array, int. Then we can initialize five elements like this. To display it, we use for each, auto, i, in cli, array, system, console, right line, i. Control F5 to build and run. Okay, it works perfectly. If we want to use element of string, then we have to do like this. System, string, CLI, SDR, array. Then GC, GC new, array, system, string. We have to do GC new, system, string Thomas GC new system string Steve we will create like this and in the same manner please note that we have to provide a handle here please please remember this syntax we have to provide a handle then here for each auto I in CLI STR array system console right line I control F5 to build and run okay it works perfectly as we can use reference in classic C++, we can use tracking reference like this. In some cases, th using tracking reference can be more efficient than simply using auto. Now we will change, we will modify this code a little bit. Please note that this syntax is very ugly, so we will modify this code. I will remove system namespace here. Instead, I will introduce template type name T type name ts then this array means cli array cli array t we need to provide here rank rank is 1 by default then we provide we return handle get cli array t first ts args or we can just say auto here. Auto, I changed it like this. Then here, return, gc new, 
CLI array T rank 1 first ARGS then we can return like this then by using this get CLI array we change it like this now let's try build control F5 okay it works perfectly as expected now we can change it to like this too auto we can simply change it auto here we can also change it to auto then here get CLI array I modified it like this it's much simpler much cleaner and simpler by introducing this this now let's run control F5 okay it works perfectly so by introducing this function we can clear our code much cleaner this way is actually much cleaner than the previous way now we will introduce std array standard template library include array then I will also include IO stream like this to use std array we have to do like this std array we have to provide type int this please note that this is size size of element number of element for example 5 then here std array I will define like this we can initialize like this 1 2 3 4 5 then we can display 4 auto we can use reference i std arr array like this then std cout i std and there I'll put line break here. Now we can run it. Control F5. Okay, it now works perfectly. Please note that this is a std array and this is a CLI array. So instead of doing this, we can also customize like this template. Type name T. Type name TS. Please note that we will also return auto get std arr array like this t first ts args return std array type t we have to provide the size of element here we can use a size of ts plus one then here first ARGS so we can make function a std array function like this then we can modify it with auto 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 like this then here get a std array we make it into function this way is much cleaner now control F5 oh, okay it works perfectly but we can modify it more efficient way for example we are using I value reference like this then here we can change std forward T and also here std forward TS we can modify our code like this so if we press ctrl f5 it works perfectly here is one problem problem though if we provide for example number this is floating point all elements should be in this case all elements should be identical element first and all other arguments should be of identical type but in this case these are integer but these are float so if we compile ctrl f5 it is causing error here it is saying some conversion error 
So we have to change, we have to modify like this std static, no, static cast, static cast t. We can convert like this, we can modify once again, then control F5. I will rebuild. Okay, rebuild. Let's run it. So it works perfectly. I will run again. Control F5. Okay, it works perfectly. So this way we can clean, we can have a clean code. This is for st uh, standard library array. And this is for C++ CLI array. This way, in a single program, we can use C++ CLI or .NET Framework uh, array, and also we can use st standard array from C++ standard library. Please note that this function returns pure R value of type array, so we can catch return value using R value reference like this too. Then we can build Ctrl F5 once again. Then our program works perfectly. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.